Hello everyone, welcome to Trish Tio TV. So on uh, Wednesday, the saga between Anne Kiguta and uh, Jomo Geshaga took a new turn when Jomo decided to respond to Anne Kiguta's suit from uh, last month. So if you're not aware, on uh, 9th of June, Anne filed a child support demand against uh, Jomo. So if you don't know who they are, Anne Kiguta is a famous journalist on TV in Kenya. And uh, Jomo Geshaga used to be the personal assistant to the former president, Uhuru Kenyatta. And he also happens to be his nephew. So the lady, that is Anne, made demands for a child support payment of uh, 2.7 million Kenya shillings, which is an equivalent of uh, 19,000 US dollars every month from uh, Jomo. So the reason why she demanded that high amount, according to many people, is the fact that uh, the guy had uh, introduced her and her kids to a very lavish lifestyle. So on that uh, suit, Anne stated that uh, they met in uh, 2015 and got married. Then in 2016, she bore a set of twins for him. But in 2018, Jomo abandoned the family and the responsibilities as a father. So since then, his uh, children, that is the set of twins he had with um, Anne, have been relying on their grandfather for maintenance. So I don't know whether she was referring to their maternal or paternal grandfather, but I'm suspecting it's the maternal grandfather because um, since their relationship between her and Jomo has been strained since 2018, I don't think she'd be able to access his father. So she went on to add that um, the kids stopped uh, getting formal education in uh, 2020 because she could no longer afford the high school fees for the school they were attending when Jomo was uh, paying their school fees. So on that uh, petition, she also indicated that um, Jomo is a dual citizen of Kenya and UK. I don't know why she brought that up. And then um, she also indicated that um, Jomo had assumed paternal responsibility for her firstborn, who she got with another man. So she went on to state how Jomo used to pay almost a half a million Kenya shillings, which is around 4,000 US dollar every month for the house they used to rent in Runda, which is an upmarket estate. So when he stopped uh, maintaining her, the lady had to downgrade and move to some place. I can't remember the name, but it wasn't a posh neighborhood as posh as uh, where they were in Runda. Then um, she indicated that uh, she used to employ nannies, housekeepers, security guards, chefs, drivers, uh, so all that uh, is what is uh, prompting her to request for that exorbitant amount, according to many people, because uh, she doesn't understand why the man provided that lifestyle when they were on good terms, but he can't do so after they fell out because um, according to her, once the children were accustomed to that high lifestyle, 
she believes that they are entitled to have that lifestyle until they become independent adults. So the uh, Jomo got to respond to Anne Kikuta on 11th of July. So on that uh, response, he started by saying he is a responsible father of all his five children because uh, he went on to have kids by another woman. In fact, uh, the son was born recently. So this other woman is uh, called Lola Hannigan. She also happened to be a media personality, but I see she's uh, into business now. She has a boutique that sells swimwear. So this um, 2.7 million demand is too high according to Jomo because um, he said um, he's not a company owner or a director in any company. So that was uh, dismissing the claims that uh, Anne made before, which uh, indicated that uh, he's a very successful business man. He also said, um, uh, what else did he say? He said, uh, the plaintiff that is Anne Kiguta seems to be under the mistaken impression that uh, because he is related to the Kenyatta's, that is the former president, that um, the Said family's alleged wealth belongs to him and that he has access to the endless resources. So he went on to say her demands are uh, extremely unreasonable and unrealistic. Which I agree with, especially since Anki Guta is a girl that had a normal job. So I don't know where she decided she's entitled to that high lifestyle. So uh, Gishaga also wanted the courts to allow him custody of the minors. So for him to demand that there must be a tension between them as in I don't think Anne has been allowing the children to visit their father but Anne claims he is the one who abandoned them so we don't know who is telling the truth so anyway um, after requesting for custody of the minors he also indicated that um, Anne is a successful journalist and is financially stable, so she is also capable of providing for the children as well, which is a point I agree with. And then um, he also stated that um, the court should direct that the two parents jointly contribute towards the financial needs of the kids, which is not unreasonable. So when it comes to their relationship, Geshaga dropped a bomb. He said there was nothing between him and Giguta other than a brief encounter in 2015 and denied having a five-year relationship with Kiguta, saying he neither spent time with her in the same house since the minors were born, which was such a kick in the teeth because you can see on Anne's suit, she indicated that um, they were married. So it seems like they were married in her head. But according to Jomo, they didn't even have a proper relationship. It seems like, according to Jomo, it was just a fling so I don't know whether Jomo is saying that because he's annoyed at the moment <laughs> or whether that's actually what happened between the two of them. So Jomo also continued to say he has been uh, 
providing his children a decent life and has always been available to them. So he was disputing the claims of abandoning the children. He indicated that uh, he has provided accommodation, education, medical cover, clothes, house helps, and drivers to pick and drop the kids off to school. He also provided uh, security for the children. So he said it is preposterous to hear the plaintiff state in her pleadings that she has had to take loans to maintain the children when all the big expenses are catered for single-heartedly by Jomo himself. From uh, when the kids were born to date. So I don't know who is telling the truth because they say there's always his side of the story, her side of the story, and the actual truth. But as all this is going down, um, I think Jomo is very embarrassed by all this because uh, given that he comes from a prominent family, this allegation kind of tarnishes his reputation. And then it also has a potential of creating tension between him and the new woman in his life, that is Lola, who gave birth to their second child recently. So, um, as for Anne, I think a lot of women need to learn from this saga because uh, it seems like uh, Anne quickly got pregnant because obviously Jomo comes from a prominent family and she automatically decided to call whatever it is they had a marriage. And like I've said in uh, previous videos, it's not for us women to determine whether a guy is in a serious relationship with us or not. And if you really want to be called someone's wife, can you at least wait until the proper marriage ceremony that everyone recognizes is a marriage ceremony has taken place before you start calling yourself someone's wife? Yeah. And then um, the other thing I would urge Ankiguta to do, she needs to like um, step back and view the situation in a different uh, lens. Because if she carries on uh, with her demands, which are unreasonable, according to me. I don't know about you, but I think she's being too demanding because she actually said if uh, Jomo can come up with a lump sum of uh, 413 million Kenya shillings, which is about uh, $3 million, if, she can, uh, if he can come up with that lump sum figure, that would uh, make her cater for the kids till they're 18. So because she made that demand, you're left to wonder whether she's prioritizing the welfare of the kids, or whether she thinks this is an opportunity to become wealthy. So I would urge her to kind of chill and um, make her realize that um, the jurisdiction she's operating under does not operate like uh, the one in the U.S. Because in the U.S. family court system, the women kind of get a fair shake. In fact, most men complain that uh, the system kind of favors women. And in uh, the U.S. system, if a father is uh, found to be wealthy, the court tends to award the children the same lifestyle as they would have if their father was uh, their custodian. So the demands she's making, I don't know whether she's been watching a lot of uh, American shows, 
So she imagines whatever goals there will also be applicable in the Kenyan court system. But she needs to be realistic because not every jurisdiction awards you handsome payments like the American court system. So if she carries on making those exorbitant demands, she's going to continue um, having prolonged legal battles with Geshaga, which is going to continue straining their relationship, which is obviously going to affect the relationship with the kids as well. And given that uh, Geshaga has moved on and started having kids with another woman, it's also going to jeopardize um, the relationship between the half siblings. Yes, yeah, so I hope Anne is going to clear her head, stop being emotional, take a high road, make realistic. Uh, make a realistic budget that covers for the kids' needs and uh, come up with a realistic amount. I hope they're going to engage in open and constructive conversations with uh, Jomo. And then finally, if... Um, Anne really wants that uh, posh lifestyle that she claims Jomo introduced her to. She needs to explore other ways of um, boosting her financial situation. And um, that brings me to content creation. See, given that uh, she is a journalist, she has the skills of uh, becoming a content creator. So... She can continue having her gig and have a YouTube channel like some of us here. I'm sure the YouTube channel would um, pop more than a regular guy's YouTube channel because she has the advantage of uh, being famous given that uh, she's been appearing on uh, TV screens for years now. So her name is... Uh, quite popular so she'll get a following and yeah become a content creator get some youtube money and then top it up with whatever other source of income you have and then that way you'll be able to afford that uh, cushy lifestyle you're after as for jomo i hope he's telling the truth about catering for his children and I also hope that um, despite all this friction between him and uh, Anne, I hope he maintains a relationship with the kids. So I don't have more to say on this matter. So as usual, just comment what you think about this whole issue in the comment section below like this video and if you're not subscribed to my channel please consider doing so to help my channel grow so i'll see you on the next video bye for now